Welcome to the live show on the internet. Yeah, yeah, you better know it, bitch. We highly appreciate you tuning in. As always, love and respect. Remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, yeah. we got a raw show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We gonna jump right into it. I apologize to him. Obviously, me and him have had private conversations where we spoke, but since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him. Like, that was bad, but, you know, I made it. It was honestly a mistake. I just, if I knew this would, like, get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to a concert. I don't know, because this is not worth and also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets who i beg who who told you that as well who said he's the one that bought the tickets it was me i'm the one that bought the tickets i wouldn't mean him to have a good time because you know like we're young like real young so like i thought this is a good thing to do let me just take my mind to a concert let's have fun like that's it there's nothing wrong with that i beg since when is it illegal to do so since when that just tells you a lot because us women we can do things as well like if we want to take our man out i'll take our man out so so yeah like i said it was mean anyways also me and him like we've had private conversations about going on stage with omele because he does this at his shows if you know if you really know omele you will know that he's done this in his past at his past concerts like this is what he does this is literally what he does, like, it's nothing new. So obviously, I said, you know, he had this conversation, like, I said to him, um, if I was to get called on stage, I'm going to go on stage. And he said, that's fine, like, he's been saying that's fine, like, we, me and him never, ever, ever had an issue with me going on stage, even when the time came. Like, I think there was a video where people were saying, like, I was moving away from him, like, I was pushing him away, like, no. Like, Omele literally looked at me and said to me, he said, I want to you. Hold on, we can't keep blaming these women for what they be doing to you niggas. Yeah, you can't hate the player, you gotta hate the game. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I said it ain't so. Yes, indeed, you niggas should already know what type of female y'all need to have in your possession because a lot of you niggas suffer from mental torture and you niggas tender dick and you can't handle woman, women like this here. <laughs> no, you can't handle a woman like this. Yeah, you get what the woman think you can handle her. You get, get her to the house. You beating the brakes off her. She doing all these sexual things to you. You get locked in and thrown over. Next thing you know, you get humiliated in public. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, say it ain't so. Yeah, she know you tender dick. She know you soft. She know you green. So guess what? She gonna take full advantage of as she should. Yeah, as she should, man. Yeah, you gotta hate the game. Don't hate the player. Yeah, man, we can't keep talking about these women talking about they no good and they thoughts. No, they just found the big dummy. Yeah, they just found the big dummy. Yeah, they take a full advantage of them. That's how the game go. Yeah, because guess what? I try to find dummies every day and make money off of them, man. But fellas, listen up, man. Listen, man. You got to stay in your league, man. If she fucking your brains out, man, chances are she doing that shit to other people. Chances are she is a pro. Chances are, man. You gonna get hurt at the end, man. So you gotta kinda back away from that, man. If you get the pussy, man, you get the head, all that good shit, man. Just enjoy it while it lasts, cause it ain't gonna last forever. <laughs> yeah, nah, I ain't gonna rain forever, baby. You better believe that. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. Pause. Nah, I ain't gonna, it ain't gonna rain forever, man. You gotta understand this, but this whole setup, this whole situation right here was a setup, man. She clearly knew she was going to get picked on stage. They just don't randomly pick motherfuckers on stage these days. Nah, guess what? You pay for that access. That's called backstage VIP access. You see, she brought the tickets. He probably was going to buy the tickets. And she was like, nah, baby, I go ahead and buy. Because the whole time she wanted to get up on stage and get groped. By the artist. Yeah, these women do shit like this here, man. See, it was his fault. Yeah, I can't keep blaming her. It was his fault, man. You don't go on dates with her like this here. Nah, you don't do no shit like that there, especially she buying the motherfucking tickets. You should already know what type of bitch you got anyway, man. And she one of them type of bitches that seek for attention and she just love uh, attention from other men. Chances are, man, you shouldn't be going publicly out with her, man, because that's all she looking for. 
she ain't worrying about respecting you, man. So at that point, when you went to this damn uh, concert, you should have known she was up to no good. Because guess what? You on the front row. Yeah. What kind of nigga going to be up in the front row with a whole bunch of bitches watching another motherfucking nigga perform? You got to be kind of yourself. That's how I would be thinking. But as you can see in a, in, in a, in a, in a, in a video, it was no man up front at the front stage. He was like the only dude up there. And the other dudes that was laughing at him was the motherfucking security. Yeah, the security was laughing at his ass because guess what? He had that long face when she went up on that stage because she he already know how freaky she is. Man, she real fucked up about this music artist. He, she said this is her favorite artist. So you already know what time it is, man. She got up on stage, man, let her hair down, and she started throwing it by. Yeah, oh my God. She started throwing it by. And she started throwing it by, and he started slanging that dick on her ass. Pause. And you got, man, you, it looked like you was about to cry and throw up at the same motherfucking time. Yeah, oh my God. Say it ain't so. Yeah, but they should have had you on suicidal watch that whole motherfucking night, but because it looked like you wanted to kill kill yourself after that point though man yeah oh, i ain't gonna lie to you boy it looked real bad man yeah it was so bad it was so bad man that you left without her man because guess what she was still backstage yeah she was still backstage yeah man ain't no telling went on backstage if you seen what they did in front of you imagine what they did when you weren't looking yeah oh my god said they so yeah and then the internet going crazy you going viral for getting hum humiliated by your bitch. I, 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 I want to know this right here. Is this still your friend or is she, uh, you done with her, man? Because uh, everybody inquiring. They want to know. They want to know if this still your old lady. Is this still your homegirl? Y'all still friends? You still fucking this bitch? What's really going on? Because she got on... Uh, online and uh apologized to you she made a public apology i don't know if she was doing it to save the relationship or she was doing it to uh make it seem like she wasn't a bad of a person man but she said y'all don't have talks about this so i don't see why you left out of the uh out of the concert man you agreed that she can get on stage and do all that shit. But once again, man, when you seen her get up there and start throwing herself to him, man, start going all the way down like she finna give him or uh, sex, man, I, man, you a better man than a lot of people, man, cause mother, I know some niggas would've went up on stage and turned that bitch out. Yeah, there was some niggas that went up on that stage and got that bitch right off the stage, man. But guess what? I'm proud of you, man. You held your composure. Yeah, you sucked it all up, paused like a man. And uh, you just carried on about your day. But once you left that arena, you should have left all that shit behind, man. You weren't supposed to look back. Getting online and trying to um give your story about what happened was uncalled for, man. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter what you say. That video said everything. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gossip TV, because we the shit. <laughs>